I need. Things to make it a little easier, a funnel, a scotch bright pad, a tube to drain the antifreeze. Here is the new thermostat. Pick that up at O'Reilly's, $10. A pair of pliers to take off a hose clamp. You need an 8mm, 10mm, maybe a 19mm socket, and a flathead screwdriver. Check engine light came on the other day. So when that happens, come down here and you hook up a computer reader and we see what code it's putting out. E0128, thermostat, regulating temp below, thermostat. Okay, to start with, we want to drain some of the uh, coolant out of the system. So down on the driver's side of the radiator, there's a valve right here. I believe this is a 19 millimeter. And then it should come out right here. I'm going to hook up a little bit of hose to it, a little tubing to get by this, and go into a clean container so I can just put the coolant back into the system. So we got the hose hooked up, and we're just going to find a clean container to dump the antifreeze into. All right, just going to take the cap off. By the way, the engine is cold. If it's hot, that could release some pressure there. And that should help it drain a little bit faster. Okay, so the next step is to start taking this assembly apart. We gotta take this clamp off, these two bolts, two bolts back here, this clamp, and then this uh, uh, air filter housing should come off. Alright, so these bolts are coming off first, and these are 8mm bolts. Boot should just pop off. Hopefully. Yep. That just wiggles off. And then we'll undo this clip. Here. That comes off. And there's the air filter. So it'd also be a good time to change or clean the air filter. This one still looks pretty good. Just come right out. Yep. And this is uh, hooked up here to the sensor. So you just need a flathead screwdriver to take that sensor off. So you just want to depress that clip with a flathead screwdriver to take the sensor off. Piece comes right out. This coolant hose right here, follow that down right next to the alternator here. This is the thermostat housing, the metal housing right next to your alternator. So we're going to need to take that coolant hose off with the hose, the clip hose clamp on it. Another little sensor, I'm not even sure what this one goes to in the way, so we're just going to take that one out as well. Uh, looks like it's going into the alternator somewhere. So that does. Come on. Man, that thing is on there. Okay, with some effort, I was able to get the uh, radiator hose off there. You can see there's kind of a lip on the end, so when we put it back on, we want to make sure it was where, back where it needs to go. You can see barely any uh, coolant leaked out, which is nice. 
And then I've just got the uh, radiator hose tucked right there for now. It is going to be to get these two bolts off, that one and that one. And those I believe are 14 millimeter bolts. Alright, so those bolts holding the housing on are 10 millimeter bolts. First one's going. So we got the housing off there. And there you can see the thermostat sitting down in the housing there. Um, so the next step is to clean this up. We're going to use a little bit of Scotch-Brite and just uh, clean up those edges, make sure we get a good seal. And then we'll put in the new one along with the new O-ring. And you got to make sure you buy the O-ring separate because that doesn't come with the thermostat. You can really clearly see the difference here. So this is the old one. And you can see that spring is just kind of tucked up there. And this one's got the new spring. Much harder to compress this part. I'm just going to take this green scotch bright and just kind of clean up this, these edges. Definitely kind of dirty. These edges, here's the new thermostat. And all you got to do is drop it in. It sits in there. And then we put this brand new O-ring. Should fit inside of there. Want to make sure you buy the right one. And it fits just like the other one did. So that looks good. And then we're just going to take this, lift it up, and put it back on top. It should sit. Yep, should sit squarely on top just like that. We got those bolts tightened up, um, so now the new thermostat's in. Now we just gotta put the hose and the hose clamp back on. Okay, so make sure you get that hose uh, back in position. Make sure it goes all the way over the kind of ridge on the front and the, the clamp is back in place where it was. This uh, sensor back up over here, over the top of it. to operating temperature here so we're going to go ahead and give it a test drive and see how it runs thanks for watching and if you found this helpful please hit the like button and if you have a ford econoline van consider subscribing for a lot more how-to videos